Bubble Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Bubba Jolie here with your Valentine's Day reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general uh, reading for Valentine's Day. So it is not a one-to-one, -one, just so you're aware. Also, uh, I will be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to do a Celtic cross uh, for Valentine's Day just because I'm really enjoying the spread, uh, the, the energy that that spread brings. But also, uh, I'm really enjoying the Psychic Tarot. It's been on point uh, so far, so I'm just uh, using that. We got Justice. So this is Libra energy. This is in your protagonist's energy, Capricorn. And it is a, an energy of getting the love that you truly deserve. Also, the one that you desire. It's a, an energy of finding a solution. So, uh, for example, if you've been having some sort of problems recently in a relationship, uh, some sort of truth will come out and will prevail. A solution will be found. But that is the protagonist energy. That is what you are trying to find. A solution to some situation in your life um, and how it maybe affects your love life. So, for example, if you work too hard and you haven't had much time to... Um, look for love, uh, then you may be making some sort of adjustments in your life to rebalance and recalibrate your life. Now, the Justice card is also about karma. So it's about time you receive some really good karma in your love life in order to uh, help you proceed in a, a truthful relationship um, and a relationship that is fair, that is equal, um, one that is balanced because uh, you, know, you may have overgiven in previous relationships or gravitated towards people who are selfish, uh, took your energy and your love, maybe were even dishonest or withholding, and you're trying to sort of recalibrate the energy in order to get a relationship that is uh, truly um, in line with who you are. Now we also have the moon card. So a bit of a reveal here, uh, something coming to the surface, perhaps someone revealing how they feel for you, or uh, you know, uh, someone admitting that there may be a problem in a certain area. Um, when you get the moon card, it's about illusion as well. It's in the antagonist position. So this indicates a, a resistance energy of someone saying how they truly feel, committing to a situation to reveal feelings. Um, the moon card is also a frustration, confusion. Uh, so where there was confusion or unhappiness or even disbelief, of something, uh, there is illumination. The illusion is being shedded, and uh, you know the fear um, is almost being looked at. Um, but using your intuition, you can overcome that. There is a lesson that lies within this shadow of self, a uh, metamorphosis, as it were. Now, this may be uh, someone. Either you, Capricorn, because this is the uh, antagonist position there. It's a resistance position. Either you or a person that you're dealing with. Um, is resisting showing their true emotions, going deeper, okay? Uh, may even be resisting that uh, partnership because of uh, some sort of fear. Um, now, when you get that moon card, it is about uh, illuminating the fear and seeing what is beneath that and recognizing that actually the thing that is casting the fear in the first place actually isn't as scary as uh, you first think. So there is also a choice here. Okay, there's a choice between wild, uh, the, the wolf and the dog, wild freedom, or, uh, you know, you know and, and being a solitary entity, or, uh, you know, settling down here, the dog represents um, stability, loyalty, being by your side. So uh, there's definitely some sort of choice here or finding some sort of solution that makes this relationship or a love relationship work. Now, if you're single, um, you could have, uh, you know, separated from somebody who, uh, you know, you gave and gave your energy to and something came to the surface that made you reevaluate everything in your relationship and perhaps become a solitary energy and that you're looking for love. You learn a lesson. OK, this is the unified position. So a lesson has been learned here. Um, but when you get the world card, there's an energy of satisfaction, completion, fulfillment. It's about perception. OK, you have a deeper understanding of your role within this relationship, but also within uh, the universe. So if you're trying to, for example, move on from a relationship that you learned a very harsh lesson in, uh, then you're definitely moving forward. And there's victory here. There is victory in that uh, that moving forward. The lesson has been learned. Uh, also, uh, and you may be physically even moving as well. There may be some sort of vacation or uh, some sort of 
actual move, like a, a moving home or um, job, uh, in order to move forward. I feel like, you know, if you're done in a situation, Capricorn, you rarely go back to a situation. It's moving forward. I feel like you're always moving forward. Um, but if, for example, you do want to be with someone uh, that you have separated from, uh, you may be finding out a truth. They may be revealing something to you um, this fe in February from Valentine's Day, okay? It then allows you to get closure or allows you to move on in the relationship into something more healthy, okay? You've both, both learned a lot of lessons there because it is a unified position. Now, let me just clarify this energy, see what we've got going on. You know, all I'm hearing is running water, running water. Now, when I was doing meditation for you earlier, I was getting the same energy of running water, but because... Um, um, you know, I was meditating and I was just feeling like it was about emotions, you know, uh, running more freely. So maybe that's a, an energy that you're finding yourself in. Or maybe you're actually running water as you're listening to this reading. Uh, maybe you're taking a bath or, I mean, washing the dishes, whatever. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. If it doesn't resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit. It just means that whoever it is for needs to pay close attention to this part of the reading. Um, because there's something in it for them. Um, but they're indicating that, um, yeah, if it's if it's not for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that that part isn't particularly for you. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Okay, so they're just indicating here, we got the justice crossing the justice. So same energy, someone uh, either withholding information or being dishonest or unfair to you in some way. Um, they, they're getting their comma, okay? Uh, comma is visiting their door. So you may even hear of this, or uh, you may witness this with this person, but this is time for you to receive good comma, okay? After a period of someone, um, you know, being unfair to you or a situation being unfair. Now, you may have been dealing a lot with some sort of legalities, contracts, um, you know, if you were separating from a business or a person in a relationship, uh, you may be doing a lot of sort of legality kind of like signing contracts or nullifying contracts. Um, and there's an indication here because this is your protagonist energy. It's in the upright. So things are going to go your way in accordance to good karma. Okay. Justice is on your side. And um, there's also an energy here of um, someone either being dependent upon you. Uh, I feel... Um, Capricorn, now this is not going to be for everybody, but I feel like you overgive a lot in your emotions, but also a lot when it comes to finances, okay? You may be very caring towards people that you love and, you know, you're very free with your money there. It's almost like um, in a lot of areas, you know, you're very... Uh, you know, always saving the money away, business oriented, you know, getting your career goals off the ground and uh, financially doing very well. Uh, but when it comes to your nearest and dearest, you know, there is no price on that and you're very free with that money with them. And you may have, um, how can I put that? You may have attracted, shall we say, the wrong type of person um, who uh, financially dependent on, uh, dependent on you in some way or um, got a little bit greedy. There's an energy here of envy as well, okay? Uh, it's almost like what I've got is mine and what's yours is mine too. That's what I feel about this person, okay? Now this person may have been um, a Libran energy or who is in low vibe or a, 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 a Virgo who is in low vibe there. Um, so please take it as it resonates. This person is the person who's receiving their karma, let's put it that way, okay? Um, and we got the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiety here, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of uh, sort of uh, grieving for this relationship, you know, and I feel like um, this person was actually dependent upon you in terms of emotion more than they thought. Uh, they may have felt like they were in it because, you know, you were uh, a really great person to be with, had a lot of uh, aspirations in your career, doing well financially, but I feel like this person's recognized that actually they have some feelings. But I feel like, I mean, if so, if it's someone in the past, I feel like they're in the past for a reason, right, Capricorn? Oh, uh, we got the death card. Yeah, definitely over, okay? Uh, you're seeking someone. We got King of Cups coming on and through here. So you're seeking a more emotionally stabilizing relationship, someone who really cares about you. The death card indicates you're done and done. You're moving forward, okay? This is a new beginning. So a new beginning is opening up here, um, especially since we've got a world card. Um, this is an energy of um, rebirth, transformation, a new version of yourself. Uh, it's time to change. 
okay? Uh, you're changing the cycles that you may have found yourself in. Now is the time for transition. It's all for your highest good. You know, even though, uh, you know, it may have been painful to walk away from the situation, it's all for your highest good. And it's actually calling in someone um, who, you know, is very supportive, someone who's very tolerant, someone who is emphatic, someone who is a peacekeeper, someone who is, you know, not judgmental. They stand alone um, in their energy and they give a lot of love, okay? You know, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is a, a person in low vibe. Now, this person who's a Virgo, not all Virgos are the same, of course, not all Scorpios are the same, not all Capricorns are the same. We're all very different in our unique way, but it feels like a person that had an earth placement um, in their chart somewhere, they're, um, they were in a very immature energy, okay? Uh, not taking care of the home, you know, not really um, dependable, not resourceful, spend, 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 kind of very thrifty, and, you know, they may have just spent your money. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting here. It's caused you a lot of anxiety and grief. But what is to come? Now, Capricorn, you may be an entrepreneur or trying to get some sort of entrepreneurial business off the ground. Um, but because there's definitely an energy of you trying to be your own boss or a leader here, you're gravitating or you're magnetizing, sorry, you're, gra you're magnetizing someone who actually has your best interests at heart, someone who has a lot of love for you. And you may meet this person on your career path something because even though this is the king of cups they're really showing me the wand in this picture so there's a lot of passion there as well but it feels like you meet this person whatever it is you're passionate about whatever it is you love doing um there is there is love there for you thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful capricorn what do they need to know Ten of Cups, yeah. There is a love relationship. Um, you you know you may know this person already. This person may have Scorpio placement um, because there's a reveal here. They're indicating the moon. Uh, some emotions are coming to the surface. So this person may have been waiting for you to end something with somebody else before they reveal their feelings for you. But we got a Ten of Cups. This is two people in love, okay? There's a lot of love, a lot of harmony here, a lot of contentment. And I feel very much like um, you know, you're looking to the future with love with this person. It's a new start. You've learned lessons from people in the past who were not good for you. And as a result, there is an exciting love opportunity uh, either headed your way or you know who this person is and they're about to reveal their feelings for you because I feel like this person is new, okay? Um, and the energy I've got, this person's got very strong water in their chart. They're very emotionally, very deep. Uh, they're very caring. They're quite private. They're very sensual um, and it's a refreshing energy. Um, this person shows you doesn't just talk. This person shows you that uh, they have a lot of uh, love for you, okay? So let's get straight to um, the Celtic Cross. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? How do they feel in this moment? Triumph, okay. But it's also about, this is the Chariot card, Major Arcana. Uh, this is movement. This is forward movement. You are, uh, you know, laser focus on your career goals, your dreams, and you're like, I'm going, I'm changing, I'm taking action. So you're very much in a position of uh, victory, trying to, um, you know, have some sort of success in an area that you work in, that you're very passionate about. And this is your drive. This is ambition. Now, it's also about, I'm just going to move these over here. It's also about overcoming any obstacles. Okay, in order to get what you truly want, there will be success in your unions, but I feel very much like in some way they're connected to your goals and your dreams. You meet this person on that path, that trajectory. Um, and this is, as I said, the, um, the chariot card in the major arcanas. So there is action. There is you making some sort of change here. Uh, it's an emotional change as well. It's like an emotional gear. They're showing me a car. Um, but I know sometimes the, the chariot card connects to uh, buying a car or something. But what I, they're actually showing me is if I'm inside the car and there's a gear stick. It's almost like, you know, you're on full throttle mode to move forward. So that's it's like you're adjusting gears. That's the energy that they're giving me. So if you felt like you were stuck in one gear and it was always stalling or you're going to slow or whatever, there's definitely a feeling of adjusting the gear and moving forward um, for, uh, you know, change, for action. You don't like to be stuck in one place. So this is the heart of the matter right now. How are you feeling? You want to move on. Okay, same as the world card, moving on. And uh, also, uh, again, you may be thinking about vacation or traveling, emigration even, moving job, moving house. There's definitely an energy of you just shaking everything up and moving forward. Uh, thank you so much. This is the obstacle. 
Okay, the challenge. Ooh, the challenge there. The star, sorry, the sun card. It's the pursuit of happiness, Capricorn. Okay, so this is number 19. This is about positivity, success, joy, optimism, wisdom, um, and illumination as you move forward. This is the thing. Okay, there's an energy here of this is the ultimate goal. This is what you are striving for. You're striving for that success and that, you know, um, beautiful serenity. But also, um, you know, the, the obstacle seems to be here that you tend to meet selfish people. You tend to meet people who are very egotistical or in some way uh, all about themselves and it leaves you having to adjust yourself or your ways sometimes to fit in with them and I just feel like you're maturing to such a level spiritually that you're like I'm not doing that anymore I'm thinking about me and sometimes that creates a bit of an ego clash between you and others and you're not coming from a negative space but what you're coming from is illumination for self okay you cannot offer someone else your cup of love if yours is empty so you recognize that you have to nourish yourself First, you have to, uh, you know, look after yourself, be positive and be optimistic and love yourself fully in the moment and leave all confusion behind. All the right people will gravitate towards you in this new version of yourself, okay? So the, the wrong people will not be able to keep up with you. The wrong people will not be able to connect with you in the way that you're looking forward uh, to, okay? So sometimes a little bit, because that is uh, the Leo card, uh, you know, and there's an energy of, uh, you know, sometimes you doubt whether you can, um, it's so weird, Capricorn, it's almost like you're trying to make yourself happy, but sometimes the way that you are, you just want your person to be happy too. And sometimes you doubt like you, you can, you doubt that you can make them happy. And actually those doubts, they may be creeping in within you, but you need to look at your set of circumstances with the person you're with. Because if it's one-sided, if you feel like you're the person who's giving, 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 and the other person's like only giving a little in comparison, then of course you're going to feel like you can never make somebody happy. What you need to, uh, excuse me, what you need to recognize and what this person or the people that you tend to gravitate towards need to recognize, we can only make ourselves happy. Okay, it is not our responsibility to make someone else happy. That's their responsibility. Two people have making it their own responsibility to make themselves happy. And then two people who are happy within themselves coming together. That's unity. That's love. Okay, you're not here to fulfill their dreams. You're here to fulfill yours. And in doing so, you meet the right person who is also fulfilling their dreams. And then both of your dreams become a shared dream. Okay, I don't know why they're giving me that, but that's what they're giving me. And someone obviously needs to hear that. Okay, now what is below you? Intuition. You're on a mission. Capricorn, you are on a mission. You are manifesting from the very uh, base chakra. I feel very much like you're... Uh, what is it you've got? You're looking at what you got and now what you want, okay? So this is magician energy. This is awareness. You are aware of your inner power. You're also aware of the power of your mind. If you want a healthy love, you're calling it in. You're not taking anybody, uh, you know, you're not taking any B BS from anybody. Uh, there's definitely a, a deep knowing that you deserve a higher love, but also you're manifesting your visions into reality, not just in terms of love, but on the success plane, in terms of your career. And that's where you meet the person. Okay, that's where you meet the soulmate. Now, you may have felt like you met the soulmate already. Okay, um, but there was a lot, there was a lot of lessons to, to sort of learn with this person. Okay, now, if you feel like you've met your soulmate already, because they're just bringing that on in, some people have feel like they've met the person already, uh, then there's a big conversation that needs to be had because this person uh, needs to go deeper in their emotions. They need to reveal how they truly feel because right now I feel like there's a little bit of doubt there, okay? There's some questions that are going on here and it's almost like if they don't go deeper and reveal how they feel for you, then you're deciding that I can't do this anymore and I'm going to seek someone who is more open emotionally because life is too short. That is what I'm getting, okay? Now, what is, uh, you know, in your uh, recent past? Movement, choices, decisions, okay? So this is a two of pentacles. You've been weighing up a lot of options, okay? You've been weighing up um, a couple of things there. You know, what is important to you? Money, 
you know, I feel like there's a strong workaholic kind of energy going on there, Capricorn, but also union. We've also got, you know, a healthy relationship, something budding, and we've got fresh air, freedom, okay? Um, you know, there is an energy here of you really thinking about this, you know, really think about what you want to focus on right now. Is it that you want to focus on your money first? Because if you look at that card, money is first. Building a solid foundation uh, in terms of your career and then thinking about union. But unfortunately, life doesn't work like that. So you, you know, you may be on your trajectory to meet your goals financially, and then you meet love. And then you're like, huh, okay. You know, you're not being sidetracked. You're not being, uh, you know, not being delayed from your goals, your passions, you know, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. But love doesn't work on your timing, Capricorn. It works on uh, spirit's timing. So they're indicating, you know, just in the recent past, you've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, but also doing a lot of multitasking, trying to make everything work for everybody. And when you do that, Capricorn, the only person who loses is you. Because you're too busy trying to make everything work for everybody that sometimes you're spending all that energy trying to make everything work for everybody that you're forgetting about yourself. Okay, so there's that energy that's coming up there right now. They give me a name, uh, Boswell, Boswell. So either it's Boswell, not Boswell, Boswell. Okay, uh, they're not spelling it for me, so I feel like it's Boswell. Um, please take it as it resonates. It may be a surname, it may be a place, it may be an avenue name, it may be, uh, I don't know, they're showing me a bridge right now. <laughs> maybe a bridge, um, so maybe it's about, I don't even know what the root of the name is. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to look up the very, after this reading, I'm going to look up what Boswell means or the root of the word means, because they're actually showing me like a dictionary and like looking at root words, but they're, you know, so maybe they're asking me to dig deeper when I finish the reading, so I will. Um, but anyway, if it resonates for you, please let me know in the comments box below. I'd love to hear uh, what it means for you. Um, but what is above you? Let's see, what is above you? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What is above my beautiful Capricorn? Especially focusing on that energy for Valentine's Day. We have rest and rejuvenate. Number four, it's a solitary energy. So that is, you know, you sort of acting from a position of um, spiritual awareness, uh, meditation, as you can see, uh, spending time with nature, resting, and um, even kind of like getting that alone time to really focus on what it is that you truly want or what you're calling in. As you can see, uh, this person is uh, meditating in a forest and there's an energy of using that awareness. Okay, as I hope you can see that there's kind of like a little glow around this person where they're using that inner power, that aura, that frequency in order to uh, manifest whatever it is they desire using the power of uh, meditation and the power of the mind. Okay, now they've asked me to go again on that position, so I will. Uh, number four is about solid foundations. So you're stabilizing yourself. You're becoming grounded. You're seeing what it is you truly want and you're calling in the love that you deserve. Good karma is coming your way. Okay, so we've got another four. Pay close attention to your uh, synchronicities. That's a double four right there, okay? And this is your, poten your potentials, okay? And we've got discontent and boredom. But what's interesting about that's basically a four of cups. Uh, what's interesting about this particular thing, uh, this particular card, is that when you have a four of cups, you're looking at your situation that you're currently in and you're not, you're trying to manifest something better. Okay, but you're not sure how it can work out or how it happens. Spirit says, don't worry about the details. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. Spirit will move mountains to get you there. What you need to know is where you want to go, what it is you want. Okay, so when you get a four of cups, um, okay, uh, sorry, they're just saying show them, show them, show them. So they want me to show you the four of cups in uh, traditional right away to row. Uh, so uh, for those of you who, who know the deck, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, I'll get it and show you. Uh, the, basically, uh, it's when someone is completely fed up and, uh, sorry, Spirit, can you indicate where it is for me? Okay. Um, so it's when someone is completely fed up and um, they are um, feeling like nothing's going to happen in the situation. You know, boredom, uh, apathy, feeling unfulfilled. That's when spirit comes along. Uh, you know, there's a cloudy day there, a little bit of tumultuous energy. All of a sudden, there's a surprise opportunity in love. So this is going to be, it's going to come from nowhere. Okay, it's just on the horizon, but unfortunately, you can't see it. 
So you're thinking, you know, it's Valentine's Day, I got nothing going on, uh, you know, no one's coming for me, there's no situation where I could meet anybody, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, is it gonna happen for Valentine's Day? Well, this is the 11th of uh, January, and the sorry, 11th of February that I'm doing this reading. And the energy that I'm feeling is, uh, it's not gonna be on Valentine's Day, okay? Um, I'm gonna see what energy I've got exactly on Valentine's Day for you, but it is, um, I feel like it is like February into March. Let me, I will clarify that energy, um, but there is a surprise. It's just, it, it's literally on the horizon for you. It's almost like you just got to turn around and see it. And I don't mean, you know, there's going to be some, I just get this energy of someone just turning around right now in the front room going, I see nothing, still nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, but it, there is something coming. Okay, the foundations are already set for you to meet this person, this new person, if you're walking away from something completely um, in order to have something new, okay? So uh, let us see. I will clarify that energy and see if I can get a, a timeline for you for that or if I can get... Um... Now, just to let you know, if that Boswell name, because it's coming up again, uh, if it does not resonate for you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they need that person who it does connect to to pay close attention to the reading. Um, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. There we go. So this is in your near future. Okay, this is the future position. Uh, this is the journey ahead. This is soulmate energy, harmony. Okay, this is major arcana. This is the lover's card. So uh, there's a deep love, deep partnership here that is on the cards for you that is very close. It's on the horizon. This is the near future position. And, uh, you know, because you become very sort of precise about what you want, Capricorn, you're calling it in. You're using your power of manifestation. There is a lot of major arcana cards in your spread. You've got four so far. So really exciting energy. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I mean, this could even be twin flame energy, okay? Uh, because there could have been some sort of separation that happened and it's led you to this point, but you've learned the lesson. So both of you coming back into being. Um, that's only, that's twin flame if you really, uh, if you're hoping to connect to a past person or someone you separated from. Uh, but I'm just getting this energy of there is union uh, on its way for you. And um, this is quite precise. They're saying storyboard, storyboard. I'm just picking this up again, storyboard, okay? Now, either you're like a storyboard artist, that's quite precise, or, uh, you know, there's something storyboard, maybe it's about you being able to write the script according to how you want it, Capricorn. You're rewriting the pages of your love story, storyboard. You're going back to the drawing board when it comes to love. And you, you want to get something that's healthy, that is not selfish, that is reciprocal, that is balanced, that is right and harmonious for you. You want an honest conversation with somebody as well. I feel like there, I, I feel like you do want the truth from somebody about something as well. Now, uh, this is how you feel about the situation. Wisdom. Okay. Now, wisdom is the Hierophant card. So there's a lot of knowledge here. Um, you know, trying to find out about higher levels of commitment, um, you know, doing a lot of learning within a relationship setting. So this may be that you're uh, trying to call in a higher level of commitment or a uh, marriage type thing. Uh, if you're, for example, um, if you are already with somebody in a, in a marriage or um, <clears throat> a higher level commitment, you know, you may be trying to find out the truth of a situation and trying to learn some lessons in that um, relationship area that will bring a lot more harmony and light to your situation and that it will be a very successful union but you've had to overcome some obstacles but what I feel from this is that um, as this is a hierophant number five are obstacles you're overcoming those obstacles by doing a lot of learning and you're you know you, the dog represents you know that sort of tame energy that sort of um, homely energy loyalty groundedness someone revealing their feelings to invest fully and be dependable within a relationship, practicality. And as you can see in the distance there, there's a happy type home, uh, a couple there with a child um, and a broomstick. <laughs> She's cleaning by the looks of things. But, you know, this figure is facing happiness. This is the dream. This is what they're looking towards. You're doing a lot of learning because you're searching for the ideal. Okay? You're searching for something that is important that is higher level uh, than maybe what you've been getting so far Capricorn because you often give too much of yourself and it is not reciprocated in the same way that you'd hoped 
Okay, so your external circumstances. We have five financial, financial and material changes. So there's there's an energy of loss here. Okay, that's a five of coins. Uh, you may have felt like someone has, um, you know, abandoned a situation or that you're feeling uh, isolated at this moment in time um, and that, you know, it's very difficult to find new love in this sort of circumstance. This is your environment, you know. Uh, this is like how you're feeling right now. You just got to focus on your money to prevent money loss. And, you know, you just got to, um, there may be a little bit of worry around isolation and things like that. Um, you know, there, there's a horn um, going on outside, um, you know, from some sort of car. But actually, my guides went out of my way, out of my way, coming through, out of my way, coming through. So um, I feel very much like you are taking action and moving forward because they're showing me this triumph card again, illuminating. It's like out of my way, coming through. You know what? It's about me now. I I'm getting the love that I deserve. Oh, wow. These horns are going crazy. I do apologize. I don't know what's going on outside. Maybe some sort of road rage. But uh, thank you so much, spirit guides. Now, this is um, your hopes and fears, material prosperity and spiritual, uh, sorry, material and spiritual prosperity. Six, again, six of them is the number of love. So that's another six you got there. But also what's interesting is that uh, we have balance, harmony. Okay, you want something that is uh, giving and receiving, something that is a generous relationship. You know, you, you've got a lot of love to give here Capricorn you're building a solid financial future but also that balcony you know you're on that balcony alone because you're, you're looking at your you, you know everything that you've got to share with somebody but you don't want to share it with somebody who's going to be selfish and who's going to be just take 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 you want someone to hold your hand someone who's actually going to enjoy um, the future with you looking at a view that is like that I mean Everybody would love a view like that. But, you know, this person is looking towards happiness, the sun, illumination, all that water. As I said right at the beginning, I felt all this emo this water is running. I can hear water running. And they're really indicating. Um, now, also, uh, it is a fear. Just to let you know, this is, a, uh, sorry, I won't come to that card just yet. Um, the other side of this coin, this card, is fear of someone being selfish because you've gravitated towards, or those people have gravitated towards you, um, who are very selfish. Now, in that, Capricorn, lies the lesson. If you find that you're continuously attracting the same sort of people who take, take, take from you, okay, that is a sign the universe wanted you to learn the lesson that, you know, don't overgive. Be, of course, generous. Your spirit is so beautiful. You're so caring. You're so kind. You're so supportive of everybody. You want the best for everybody. But know when too much when you're giving, know when it's too much that you're giving, okay? Know when, you know, to stop in your giving. And that's not being selfish. That's you just owning your power because you don't want people to be energy vampires and just steal your energy, steal, uh, you know, and I don't mean steal your money or anything like that, but I mean just expect, expectations. So that is a fear. Now, solution, the outcome, we have accelerated motion. Aha, so we have the moon card again. Okay, plus we have movement. So definitely someone is coming to reveal their feelings for you um, that either you already know that is in some way related to a passion project that you do or your, your job, something like that. Um, or uh, there is going to be some sort of news that helps you um, that comes on in from someone that you've either separated from, you're hoping that they've done the shadow work and that they reveal deeper feelings. You, you cannot operate on the surface. But we have number eight, eight of wands. So this is accelerated motion. When you get an eight of wands, this is change. This is action. This is movement forward as news arrives. Okay, so you're definitely going to get some sort of message in February. I feel like it will be after Valentine's Day. Um, but... It's something you've been wishing for, wishing on a star for, okay? So if that's the love that you truly deserve and desire, you know, it's just on the horizon there. You're going to hear something that propels you forward towards meeting this person, this new person. Now, if you're hoping for that person in the past, as I said, to, you know, own their selves, take responsibility and do the soul work, uh, we got shadow. Uh, this is the moon card. So someone revealing their feelings, revealing their fears, opening up, being vulnerable, shedding light on a situation, giving clarity and revealing their truth. You're definitely going to get a message from this person in the past that will reveal 
a little bit more about themselves. I mean, you may not like what they reveal. You may. I'll get a clarifier on that to see what's going on there. Um, but as you can see, we, there's an energy here. You can only meet a person as deeply as you have met yourself. So Capricorn, if you spiritually evolved much higher than the person that you're dealing with, they can never meet you there because they haven't met themselves on that. They haven't done the shadow work. Okay, so you may hear news that they're actually doing the shadow work. They're receiving karma and they've had a bit of a blow, like maybe even a tower moment that has brought them to this. And now they're reaching out to surprise you because you got you got a surprise here. You've got a couple of surprises coming through. Okay, uh, now I'm just going to clarify. Can you please clarify shadow and accelerated motion for my beautiful Capricorn? Uh, what do they need to know about the moon card? Page of Cups. Yeah. So this person's coming towards you. Um, the, the new love. See, this card represents two things. New love and someone coming in to tell you how they feel about you, but there, there may be an, uh, attach, uh, an apology attached. Okay? So there's definitely, uh, they're indicating the moon reveals there is some sort of news. Someone is coming towards you to tell you how they feel. Now, this person, as I said, may have strong water in their chart. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, they may also have a bit of earth there. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Uh, but this person is telling you how they feel. They're going to illuminate that. Okay? It is going to be a complete surprise. Uh, because especially when you get a page of cups, um, there is an energy of, you know, the, the fish pops out of the cup. It is a big surprise, okay? Um, and also there's an energy here that this person's done work. They've been studious. They've learned something. Now, this is a person um, who is on the precipice. They're diving in on their emotions. They're, they're ready to take that leap of faith, but they're offering you their cup of love before they just dive on in there. So definitely someone's going to reveal how they feel about you. Whoa. We have the lovers in the verse. Now, this could be the person that you separated from, okay? Uh, I'm just going to get that other card. One moment, please. Okay. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So, complete surprise there. But, um, you know, someone you separated from. I'm getting two energies here. I'm getting two energies here. One is that, you know, the person you separated from, the lovers card, you know, there's a lot of uh, feeling of regret here. You know, some people made some bad choices. They said some things they really did not mean. They denied their feelings. They hid behind ego. And, you know, the walls are crumbling for this person. They've really been doing some shadow work. And they want to issue an apology here. There's a turning point in this relationship. This person may feel like you're a soulmate energy. They can't let you go without a conversation at least. So they may be reaching out to see if they can save it. That's why you've got that justice card. Can we find a solution? Is there a way that we can learn the lesson and move on, really reveal how we feel about each other and, uh, you know, take a step into the unknown together? Um, also, there's an energy of, you know, you separating from that person in the past and, you know, new love coming on in and a, a faded sort of meeting. OK, the Wheel of Fortune indicates um, destiny intervening in the situation and bringing good fortune or turning point. Um, it requires a leap of faith in either direction. So whether you want the person in the past and you want to heal that because we have the light there. I mean, I'll see if we get a, a star card energy for that. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Um, if, we, if they want to heal this relationship with uh, the person in the past, my beautiful Capricorns, what do they need to know if they want to heal a relationship from someone that they've separated from? Ace of Cups. Release the disappointment. This person really hurt you, okay? Uh, they really let you down. Uh, Ace of Cups in the reverse indicates, you know, that they withdrew their cup of love, maybe even abandoned the connection. They did not give fully in, uh, into the connection. You gave more than they did, it seems. Um, hangman, waiting for them to gain wisdom. And they're selfish. we got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's the same message they're giving me. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. One-sided. You know, um, hangman, they need to have gained some sort of wisdom. They need to have sacrificed something. They need to have recognized what it feels like to live without you, Capricorn, before um, they uh, and learn the lesson of uh, how much they just, you know. Oh, we got a little bit of energy joining. Um, so there's definitely some sort of, um, you know, this person had to learn a lesson. And you learned a very valuable lesson from this as well. Now we will get, I'm just going to go one more on that. 
strength. It's not your confidence. Strength in reverse. Okay, this person may have sabotaged, self-sabotaged the relationship um, because they felt like they were not enough. Okay, now that doesn't help you at all, Capricorn. Um, but uh, that, that's the energy that I feel like they do have regrets and they will, um, they want to talk, perhaps even issue an apology. I don't feel like an, uh, an apology comes straight away from this person. I feel like they, there's ego there. They, they work up to it. Uh, we got the Empress in reverse. Yeah, this person... Uh, depended on you they they didn't realize how much they actually depended upon you and that you know um this person made you feel like you were not enough for the connection and um when you're separated this person then recognized actually you're the person and they depend upon you and they love you a lot more than they thought they had feelings deeper feelings than they sort of um admitted to themselves five of pentacles but five of pentacles in reverse indicates this person is returning this is a return card okay they want to um it feels like they want to uh it's almost like this person they may have received good news so weird it's like they received some sort of good news like they got a job or they're moving and they want to tell you it's almost like they're going to open up with that message. They're going to tell you about some sort of good news in their life and say, hey, I got this really good news. And I sat there and I thought, you know, there's only one person I really want to share this news with. And it's you, Capricorn. And I miss you. It made me realize how much I miss you because you'd be my go-to person to tell you, to tell someone about my news. I feel like that's how they're going to come back I don't feel like they're going to give an apology straight away. It's going to be like that, okay? Uh, but yeah, we've got five of pentacles in reverse. This person, they don't want to abandon the connection. They want to come back on in. Now, if you want new, let's have a look. New. For the person who's looking for a new relationship, um, what we got going on? Knight of Swords. we got someone coming on in and it is a person who takes action. Okay, this is an air element, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, but you got someone coming to tell you how they feel. So definitely, I feel there's someone about to reveal their feelings for you, Capricorn. Hold on to your hat. Um, the, the Knight of Swords, this person, you know, they're, they're just going to come out and say it. The swords represent communication. Knight of, Knight of Swords is about action. This person, you know, you may be thinking about changing your life and, you know, relocating somewhere, etc., etc., but someone's going to come and say, hey, before you go, or before whatever you do, I need to tell you how I feel, okay? So definitely someone coming towards you. Now I'm just gonna clarify the energy for Valentine's Day, the actual day. What's happening on the actual day for my beautiful, oh my gosh, Four of Cups, okay? It's in the reverse. There's a new option, a new option coming on in, okay? A new outlook, a new direction. So that's what you got coming in on actual Valentine's Day, a new option. So whether that's, you know, you make a, a decision to end a relationship and move forward, looking for something new, or whether you, you know, um, you are finding a, a new way of kind of like changing your life. You're making solid decisions on the 14th. There's a big decision to be, some sort of decision to be made or action to be taken here. Uh, one more for the 14th. Oh, how would you like to see? Thank you so much. Chariot. I mean, this is it. Same card. This is the very, very heart of the matter, the present moment. Chariot, victory, you know, charging forward, taking action. You're not waiting around. You've overcome your own obstacles and you're moving forward for victory, ambition. Okay, so uh, that's, that's the energy. They're given the same energy. The same cards, Capricorn, so I have to leave it there, okay? Very, very successful union coming for you, one that is reciprocal and balanced. You get to choose which one you, you want, whether you want to heal the person in the past or whether you want to uh, go for the new. It looks like you're moving forward. That's how I feel about this energy. Now, I'm just going to go get your heart. So let me see. Let's go for that one. Okay, so uh, it says here, your journey of love has only just begun. Interesting that it mentions journey, okay? Because your whole reading seems to be about moving forward and taking a journey. So the journey of love has only just begun. Beautiful, so there's a new beginning here, okay? So uh, I'm very excited about that. I'm just gonna get you a um, advice card before we close the reading. Wow, did you see that? It just went, 
Wow, they're just showing me an airplane right now. It's kind of like as if it was moving forward. It just, an airplane just went in that motion. So either you're physically buying a, uh, you know, a flight somewhere, or you were taking a flight somewhere, please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everybody, especially since we're all kind of like travel restrictions with what's going on around the world. But um, maybe you're booking that. Maybe that's what's happening on Valentine's Day. We got higher power, another number four. So, so many fours here, Capricorn, for you. Solid foundation, a structure in place, connection to your higher power. So again, they're indicating, look, Rest and rejuvenate, connecting to that higher power, that higher source, and we have it here. You just know, okay? You just know. So I'm just gonna read from the book, as I don't wanna tell you anything wrong there, but uh, higher power and relationships, let's see. Number four. Conscious contract with higher power, presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all, committing to a partnership with spirit. It says, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and, evol and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Okay, so that's either a person you separated from and they were meant to teach you a very strong lesson or it is a person that is around you is about to reveal their feelings for you and you just kind of know that there is something between you and this person okay um take it as it resonates i'm just going to get a trinket before we close thank you so much for the guys and angels can you please guide my beautiful capricorn oh we've only got the one. Oh wow we have a footstep making a mark the first taking that first step okay so definitely uh, there is movement forward. You're uh, making your mark on somebody's heart or you have made and they're gonna take the first step towards you to tell you how they feel. So movement is happening for sure in uh, your February chart. Um, they want it on accelerated motion, the eight of wands. There's news coming on in that allows you to take a first step towards love uh, and a relationship. All begins with the first step, right Capricorn? Okay, we will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Also, they're showing me a tree. Uh, it feels like it's a tree or a small tree that is in your house. It's a, a housebound tree. I would say plant, but it looks like a tree. <laughs> it looks like it's quite, it's grown quite a bit. I mean, it could be a, could be like a, a yucca plant or something like that um, it feels like someone's dusting off the leaves or something so either you're tending to your plant dusting off the leaves as you're listening to this reading uh, if that's you then there's something in this message for you okay um, if it's not it doesn't mean it's not your reading it just may mean that you know um, you're dusting yourself off because you're wanting something healthy wanting something that, that grows but they're showing me that image so i feel it's very much like someone is actually physically doing it okay okay my beautiful capricorn we will leave that there thank you so much love and light